under the Manx Mountain Marathon 2023, me and my family caught the steam packet ferry from Liverpool to Douglas on the Isle of Man, rather than flying, to lessen our carbon footprint. So thank you very much, steam packet. Welcome to the Isle of Man and to the Mountain Marathon. Get all you does, Manny. What's the best one to sleep? Four, three, two, one. Yay! Hi, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Running. I'm here in the beautiful Isle of Man on the Manx Mountain Marathon 50k race 2023. And I appear to be in last place. I can just see the race leaders going up north for all here. I'm still very much last. about halfway up North Barrel and already the views spectacular. This first climb is very very steep. I think it might be the steepest of the lot. Time to celebrate with the wiggly worm. Now for the fun bit. Downhill! Very helpful in the mist. Peak number two is in sight. Oh, sorry. No, you're right. Supposed to be so fast downhill. Just get it all. This is the start of Snaefell here. You cross the road and go up. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> there we are. And now, Snaefell. Okay, we're good. Now chasing the photos. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Come on, Perry. I hope that's the top. You know when you just don't feel like you've got any strength, can you? I feel really weak and feeble. Time for it to get. I'm not sure if this is the right way. I can see stud marks. Oh, my ribs just. Hurt. Got like one minute till the cutoff. I've just got a really bad stitch. Yeah, stitch going downhill because I was trying to go fast for the cutoff. Yay! I think it's 10 31, but I let me continue. Just take it steady, I thought. Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm a bit slow. It's a nice looking mountain. It's a stitch from holding the GoPro. Just feel so knackered. Note to self: do not get flu ever. Right, just got to press on. So I've just come from up there, made well, and just about made the cut off. I think they were being generous, but I'm just on my way up Benny Pot, just ahead of me here. But I've just. I just sort of decided um, if I don't make the next cut off, I don't think I'm going to bust a gut to get up because I really tried really hard up Snaefell and then gave myself a massive stitch for the way down, which was quite painful. So I think I'm just going to get timed out, hand in my race number, and carry on. I mean, there's nothing saying I can't walk the same way as the race. And it's the whole joy is in experience and doing it uh, in a manageable way. So uh, yeah, I don't mind. I was initially, you know, 
sad, which I think I might get cut off. But basically I'm here and it's a beautiful day and I'm doing the Manx Mountain Marathon off the back of four weeks of being ill. So I think, you know, there's worse things in life, isn't there? So I'm just gonna take it, uh, not at a leisurely pace, but you know, at my own pace and enjoy the day on the hill. Right, hill number four, Benny Pot. Just keep running, just keep running. Here we are by a reservoir just off Carrigan. Good news is, I found a banana. Bad news is, there was a fork in the pass and I wasn't sure which one to take, so I took the one with the banana on it, thinking someone had lost it. But I actually now don't know if this is the right way. Ah, oh, I'm supposed to have gone that way off Carrigan. Ah, oh, I didn't drop that banana. Every cloud. I can see Marshalls, so I know that I'm now back on the right track. Very boggy and skiddy. Could have done without that little detour, but at least I got a banana out of it. <laughs> I've got five minutes to get down to that checkpoint. Oh, really? Oh, God, I thought I'd be timed out by now. Thank you. Sorry for making you wait. Oh, do you have a bin at all? I've got a yes, banana skin. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I'm being denumbered. Time out. Shame. And it's a beautiful day, and it's gorgeous, you know. And it's not. I know. So don't feel the pressure now. Um, yeah. I don't want to keep everyone waiting. Right. It's official. I'm just going for a little run now. So all the flags will go now, won't they? Yes. So I'll have to be extra. Vigilant with the route. I remember filming Wendy Dodds here last year. It's a lovely route, and I'm just going to continue filming it, hopefully, inspire a few of you to come over. To the Isle of Man because it is one of my favourite places to run. I really love it here. Ah, oh, well, this might be harder than I think <laughs> because I just don't know where I'm going now. Got the compass out just to make sure, and I know I need to be up there. I'm probably just missing some kind of huge path. Well, that definitely wasn't the way. So I think everyone must have gone like that way and then that way and I just cut through, through the middle. As yet, I am not giving up. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just having a little sit. It's a lovely day though. And whatever happens is a good training run. I'm at the top of Colden. I've made it. Nothing to cliff anymore. Now I need to look at the map. Colden. Up that way. A better plan would be to stop at St John's, which is where the half marathon starts. Then later in the week, do St John's to Bradder Glen so that I've got the film. But I'm going downhill now, so I'm like, oh, maybe I can still do it. But I just don't want to kill myself, you know? 
Like, I haven't run for a month, I've had a flu. Let's go and do a 30 miler. Not a great idea, really. <sighs> Sensible people probably wouldn't even been on the start line, but I am not sensible, as you can see. There's just one more bump, Slew Roy, and then it's down into St. John's. I'm not even really running, I'm just sort of stumbling along. At least it's not raining and misty. It's a really nice day to stumble along. <sighs> and a half miles so that's you know that's all right after a month of doing nothing so i'm not gonna push it i'm just gonna stop at st john's and then i'm gonna film the rest of the race route while i'm off the tail which will be a lot nicer <coughs> um so yeah stay tuned for another day just goes like this sometimes doesn't it a race you just you know, you plan your whole holiday around it and it doesn't go to plan. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, and we're all still alive. That's the main thing. Right, onwards to St John's! <laughs> um, this, the half marathon starts from there. And I'm very, very glad these are still here. Otherwise, I would not have a clue where I'm going. If ultra running wasn't painful enough already. So I seem to have missed the disused railway line I was supposed to come into St John's on. Fine, I'm just walking along the road. Good boy. Thanks, Pete. <coughs> now to Radha Glen to see some more race finishers. Oh, they come from Well done, Jules. Well done, Julie. Well done. 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 This is George, he invented the race. Say hello. <laughs> oh, more runners coming. Woohoo! Good work. Well you enjoyed watching the race today, George? I did. When you invented it, did you envisage that it would become this bigger thing? No. No. Yeah. Is, I'm absolutely amazed at this. And it brings a lot of satisfaction, a lot of personal satisfaction. Yeah. yeah. And on such a beautiful day, it's a pleasure to watch. It is, yes. I've been here all afternoon. Yeah. Except for Lovely. A, I went for some more tea and scarf yeah. and whatnot, but uh, I've been Not here all afternoon. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm driving. <laughs> Anyway, that video you put out last year was really oh, good. Oh, did you like it? Oh, thank you. Because you watched that. <laughs> you and guys yeah. didn't see you, you come speak up, through. So oh, wait, you ran around the island and you Oh, yeah, I did the Radna Fallen. So yeah. It's really good. Oh, like thank you. Oh, yeah. thank you. All That's right, very well kind done. of you. <laughs> hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Very good. 
look at all the mountains on there. Great. Love of bushies. Oh, thank you. Three, two, one. Yeah. Hello, mummy. Oh, hello, hello. How was your race? It was all right. Yeah? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Again, back another year. <laughs> Normally, when I, when I uh, uh, talk about this race, it takes about, uh, on the average, three quarters of an hour. <laughs> but just briefly, this uh, event started as a, as a walking event between the youth hostel in Ramsey and the youth hostel here at Port Erin. And the time limit of 10 hours was decided uh, because when you finish your breakfast and do your duties, this is the old days when you had to do duties in youth hostels, and, uh, and you leave at 9 o'clock, and they serve here dinner at seven o'clock. That gave a space of ten hours to uh, to uh, to complete the walk. Although it was sort of uh, intended for walkers, right from the very start there was a strong uh, fell running component in the uh, marathon, and the first person came in in five hours forty-five minutes. Mm -hmm.